Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to create a fillable PDF for free. So I'm Alison Wood from nichelifesuccess.com and I share lots of tips for growing a business or a side hustle online. So many of us know that we can create fillable PDFs from Adobe Acrobat. However, we don't always have the cash for that. And so today I have long looked for something that allows me to create fillable PDFs for free and I have found a great tool. And you can see it on the screen here. It's sejda.com forward slash PDF forms. I will leave a link down below. So basically, as you can see here, it's free if you use um, anything that's up to 200 pages or 50 megabytes. Now it won't keep it forever. So what you wanna do is you wanna create it and then download it. You can use it for, you know, lead magnets. You can use it in courses, all sorts of different ways that you can use it. And it's so handy because you can send it out to people and they can fill it out on their computer without having to print it or anything like that. So I'm going to show you how to add the fields now in a PDF. Now, I know that some people want to know how to create, turn a Word document into fillable. Now, if that's the case, what you want to do is create your Word document as you would as normal. You can put boxes if you want to within Word so that you're going to make fillable, or you can just leave space, whatever is easiest for you. And then save your Word document as a PDF. You'll need to do that before you upload it to here. And you can do that just by going File, Save As, and choose the file type as PDF. So once you've got your PDF, we're going to click here. I'm going to go to Desktop, and we're going to upload. This is just something that I've created, which is like 10 lead magnet ideas. So the first part is the different ideas. And then the second one is space for your ideas. So once the person's downloaded it, they can use it for, you know, filling in whatever they want to once they've got their ideas. So you just use these across the top. Now, if it's like a text field, you can... Um, use this one. If it's a bigger area, then you can use text area. You can also do like radio options or check boxes or even drop down. So there's lots of different options here. Today we're just going to use these ones, the text area. And then once you've clicked on it, all you do is that drops into there and then you just move it across and move it across so it is the size of your box and then that's basically it now just to speed it up slightly you could keep doing that for each one however once you've got the size like if all your boxes are all the same then you can do this if they're different then obviously you can still resize it so i just duplicate the field and now because i've got the right size i just drop it in and again i just quickly go down, do those. I'll just show you these quickly because I want to actually just show you what it's like when you download it. So do that. So obviously you do all of those and I'll just show resizing these end ones because there's slightly less space here. So you don't want it to be going over that image. So I would just slide that in there. And I might probably have taken that out for this one because obviously it's going to get slightly in the way. If it doesn't come up the duplicate, just click into the box again, do it there, and then we can just do this. So we move it across. Okay, so then you apply changes. Your task is processing. Then you can still go back to editing if you want to. Also, I've discovered that if you get halfway through a document, save it and download it. And then if you want to finish it later, you can upload it again and carry on with the boxes. I discovered that when I had a really long document and I thought I had to get all the way to the end, but I actually didn't. So let's download this. Now I'm just going to save this one as fillable so I know that it's obviously a different one. 
save that and then I will just show you quickly uh, this one is here and then when you go down you can see that people can now type into it hang on this is my great idea and that's it oh if I could spell be even better and then they can just fill that in they can move down they can change it whatever they want to do so I hope that's been helpful as I say that's the place and I will leave you the link below hope you've enjoyed this if you have please give it a like and also subscribe because there's lots more coming thanks a lot